do you think that Putin and Xi fear President Biden? You'd have to ask them whether, whether they fear or, or, or they sure, not. Then. It is not about fear. Thanks. John. Russia and China. It seems like this, uh, these two superpowers are teaming up now against the U.S. Why did President Biden let this happen? Peter, these are two countries that have long chafed, as I said to Jeff, long chafed um, at U.S. leadership around the world um, and uh, and the network of alliances and partnerships that we have. This is not this is not something that. Uh, these two countries just cooked up since President Biden got elected. But, but it is he, something that they have been since trying he's been to. president. He has talked tough. He tried to pressure Putin and Xi uh, to act right or risk their standing on the world stage. Does he see now that they don't care? I think if you ask a lot of Russians, they certainly care. I mean, this the, their economy is is uh, barely being propped up by some pretty radical measures by by Mr. Putin. Their military has uh, been. Uh, roundly embarrassed inside Ukraine, um, and they continue to lose uh, uh, ground there. Uh, and as for China, again, take a look at the way the president has really revitalized and restored alliances and partnerships that were let go, if not ridiculed, in the previous administration. We have prioritize them. And there's no other nation around the world that has this alliance and partnership network that we do. Five of our seven treaty alliances are in the Indo-Pacific, and President Biden has prioritized each and every one of them. Specific to these two leaders, though, do you think that Putin and Xi fear President Biden? You'd have to ask them whether, whether they fear or, or, or they sure, not. Okay. It is not about fear. It's Good. about President Biden advancing our foreign policy goals around the world. It's about President Biden revitalizing these alliances and partnerships. It's about President Biden and what he's doing to preserve our national security interests around the world. That's what we're focused on. Thanks, John. Uh, two quick follow-ups on China. In your description of the relationship between the two, uh, convenience, not affection, Russia viewing China as a lifeline, do you guys view Russia at this point as a client state of China? I would say there's... Um, uh, in, in that particular bilateral relationship, they, they certainly are the junior partner. And then, uh, in terms of the lines of communication, the president's talked about this. He's talked about it repeatedly, being critical to the relationship, the bilateral relationship with China. Which lines are not currently open? There was reporting last month about the military. No, no lines were not open. Obviously, economic lines are open. It seems like the Secretary well, we're hoping to get the economic lines open. The military to military lines are not open, and that's and that's a problem. Um, that was, as you know, one of the things we were hoping. Uh, Secretary Blinken would get thawed for us because they are frozen. Uh, and of course, that trip didn't happen yet, so uh, those lines are, are still not open. But look, through diplomatic channels, we still have the ability to speak with the Chinese, and we are. As I said, we're working with them on a potential trip by Secretaries Yellen and, and Raimondo. Um, and as I said earlier, the, the President will absolutely speak with President Xi at the, at the appropriate time. That's still open.